guys welcome back to another one um we're out here just collecting a little goods for the for the old a-frame um we got a big hunt going tomorrow um my stepdad hadn't been in town and i haven't been in town to brush up the blind so i'm gonna brush it in and we're gonna hunt tomorrow morning um my mom's gonna be going with us <laughs> it's the first time i've duck hunted with my mom in a long time so i'm really looking forward to that i'll probably run the camera a lot in the morning and then uh once we get a few birds down and they get a few chances to shoot i'll probably pick it up and um put the gopro on and see what i can do so stay tuned i'm just gonna do a little time lapse here of me gathering brush to put on the a-frame then we'll run over and see if there's any ducks Alright guys, so I got all the brush, now I'm headed to my stepdad's house to get his A-frame so that I can brush it up. Um, just trying to get all this stuff done before in the morning. If it was just me and my stepdad going, it'd be no problem. We'd just take our chairs out there and and sit in the weeds and, and have water up to our ankles and all that stuff. But since my mom's going, she's not going to be wearing waders or anything like that so i'm going to try to brush in this a-frame the best that i can so that she can be comfortable and this audio is probably horrible because the wind's probably blowing right on you guys or on the back of my camera all right so um i'm gonna get the a-frame brushed in that way she has a comfortable place to sit and it'll hide all three of us a little better than just sitting in the reeds because there's no there's no real bank to this crap i gonna lose my tailgate um there's no real bank to this it's just wrp land so what they did is they came out and they shaved it down just enough to hold water and that way we could put millet and stuff like that in there and then they just let natural grass grow along the edges so all you have is really basically kind of really tall broom grass to sit in which is fine if you're only trying to hide a couple people, but if you get any more than a couple people, then you just start looking like little holes that are that are stuck out in there, and then you start getting all these little trails through there. For some reason, ducks can pay attention to trails. I, I don't know. And even with the best brush-up job, especially if you're taking a dog, it's it just starts adding too much to the mix. So we're going to get that brushed up, and uh, we'll get it out there. I'm gonna try to get it out there tonight so that I don't have to deal with it in the morning. Um, but worst case scenario, I'll get up earlier. I'll get out there and set up the A-frame and go ahead and start putting decoys in while they uh, they get up and around because I know my mom doesn't want to get up super early. I told her six o'clock and she's like, on a non-work day? I'm like, yeah. She's like, okay, I guess I'll go. So. I don't want her to have to get up any earlier than she has to, so we are just going to get everything set up for her and then she can just walk out and hopefully shoot some ducks. Um, there was ducks on there while I was out there. I could hear them quacking, but I didn't want to go jump them. No reason to educate them if we don't have to. So uh, I'm just going to get to his house. I'll probably put it on another time lapse so that you guys can watch me brush it up. And then uh, uh, tomorrow morning, we'll get after them. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, so what's going on? Uh, I brush my A-frame. Um, I see a lot of people doing it, and they either put way too much brush, or make it one-dimensional, or don't put enough brush. Um, the main problem I see is if you put too much brush, you look looks like a big, huge beaver den, is what it looks like. Um, 
then if you do it one dimensional you don't have any the ducts don't have any depth into your blind um, people have a misconception of oh I got I gotta cover up all the blind all the blind material no you you don't they make the blind material so it'll kind of blend in with your surroundings obviously if you're hunting darker backgrounds and stuff and you have the the max four I guess is what you would call it um, camouflage then yeah you kind of need to put a whole lot more darks in there than you do lights but it still can can have a little popping through um, I want to show you this side first it's a I did a very one dimensional side and here's what the one di dimensional side looks like they're just all straight up and down they have a lot of height to them so they're going to give you good cover on the back but your lower isn't it's not three dimensional at all okay so this other side though I did in more of a three dimensional and you can see it'll go you kind of have depth to it you can see through it it gives you a lot more depth so when the ducks are flying in it, it looks like weeds if if you look in through reeds when you're sitting on the bank you can see through them you can't just they're not just a whole wall of reeds and obviously I haven't done this side yet because I ran out of material but I will finish that up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when like when it's out in the field if you like this video make sure you give me the old thumbs up um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope you guys have a great second season.